Does the molecule H2 2 minus exist? We can answer this question by drawing a molecular orbital diagram for this potential molecule. To start, let's draw in the highest energy atomic orbitals associated with each individual hydrogen atom. By looking at the periodic table, we can see that the electron configuration for hydrogen is equal to 1s1, which shows us that the highest energy atomic orbitals in hydrogen are the 1s atomic orbitals. To start, we can draw in these 1s atomic orbitals on our molecular orbital diagram at that exact same energy level for each individual hydrogen atom. Next, draw in your two molecular orbitals for hydrogen. One of them will be lower in energy and the other higher in energy than the two atomic orbitals. Remember that the total number of orbitals is always conserved. So, because we started with two atomic orbitals, we must make two molecular orbitals. The molecular orbital that is lower in energy is a bonding molecular orbital called the sigma 1s bonding molecular orbital. And the molecular orbital that is higher in energy is an antibonding molecular orbital known as the sigma 1s star antibonding molecular orbital. Remember to connect your original atomic orbitals with your newly formed molecular orbitals. Next, we need to fill our diagram with valence electrons. Each hydrogen atom has one valence electron. However, remember that we're making an ion that has a net charge of minus two. This means that each hydrogen atom that combines to form this ion needs to have a minus one charge and to be an anion. And if we combine these two minus one charges, you make the minus two charge in the center. So if we add one electron to the original one electron of each hydrogen atom, we find that these hydrogen anions will each have two electrons. And that means H22 minus by adding together two and two will have a total of four electrons. So these two electrons will fill in these 1s atomic orbitals, and these two electrons will fall into these 1s atomic orbitals. Next, we will fill in our molecular orbitals, starting with the lowest energy molecular orbitals first, according to the offbet principle. So we'll fill in two electrons into our bonding molecular orbital to completely fill it up, and then two more into our antibonding molecular orbital, which is higher in energy. And this is a completed molecular orbital diagram for H2, 2 minus. Now, how can we figure out if this molecule exists? We can tell if it exists by calculating the bond order for H2, 2 minus. The bond order is a measure of the stability of a bond, its strength, and tells you how many electron pairs are present in a potential bond between the molecule. The bond order is equal to 1 half times the number of bonding electrons, which are present in the sigma 1s bonding molecular orbital, minus the number of antibonding electrons, which are found in the sigma 1s star antibonding molecular orbital. For H22 minus, there are two bonding electrons and two antibonding electrons. 2 minus 2 equals to 0, showing us that these two pairs of electrons in the molecular orbitals will cancel out, leaving us with a bond order of zero. A bond order of zero tells you that there is no bond that exists between the hydrogen atoms and that there are no electron pairs present in order to form a bond in the H2 2 minus molecule. Therefore, H2 2 minus cannot exist. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.